Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. In this video tutorial, we are going to learn a new 8086 assembly instruction that is SBB or subtraction with borrow, right? SB stand for subtraction and the next B is stand for borrow. So subtraction with borrow. The keyword is SBB. The next operand is destination comma source. And what will be the operation destination minus source because it is a subtraction. We will further subtract borrow. It is related with ADC instruction as we not only add in ADC uh, destination and source, but also carry. So here we also subtract uh, borrow and borrow is again, uh, we know that for borrow, we don't have any specific flag register or flag bit uh, that carry will also be used in this case, right? So let's taste an example so that you will understand it, right? So let's write the code. I'm going to write move b l sorry p x one two three four and i'm gonna take another value hack it is in hex move cx comma let's say four five three or you can say one two two okay and i'm gonna subtract uh cx from bx you know that bx is smaller value and i'm subtracting uh, cx from it so there will be a borrow that is why i'm trying to generate a borrow so subtract uh, bx comma cx so bx minus cx will be performed and now we will subtract another number let's say from the bx uh, or another number let's say move uh, bx comma five six two four let's test this program so that you understand this instruction help we'll press emulate button okay there was a error uh, what was an error let me see okay Let's do this like CX comma two five four two X. Okay. And probably some. Okay, let's restart this code so that. move bx comma one two three four hats move cx comma certain value just greater than bx four five two zero hats move please no sorry subtract uh cx comma sorry bx comma one two three four or you can say cx sorry cx and then we test subtraction SPB BX comma two four zero eight X. Okay, we're gonna test it. Code is running. Probably in last simulation uh, there was some bug in the start, so I just restarted the code. Code was fine, so let's run it. The first instruction is move VX comma one two three four. So the X will have one, two, three, four. I hope you can see that one, two, three, four is loaded here. The next instruction is move again. So four, five, two, zero will be loaded in C. Yes, it is loaded. Now we will perform subtraction. So subtraction one, two, three, four hacks. Okay. And we are, uh, I'm doing it manually so that everybody understand because it, there will be subtraction involved of hack that decimal four, five, two, zero, right? So if you subtract, four minus uh, zero, it will be four, three minus two, it will be what? One, okay, so far okay, but two minus five, we can't do it. We will take an hexadecimal carry, right? That would be 16, 16 plus two, 18, right? Hexadecimal carry is equal to 16. So 16 plus two equals to what? 18, 18 minus five will be 13. So the result would be what? D, okay? because 13 in hexadecimal is t and there is no uh, nothing now zero so we will take a borrow 
a superficies borrow right so 16 minus 4 will become what 12 so result would be what bd right and there will be a borrow taken remember a borrow flag will be high and for borrow flag carry flag will become high right so let's test this code if this subtraction is correct or wrong so i'm gonna run it single step okay for 12 there was c there was some manual error so cd14 is loaded in the uh, bx register and borrow flag or the carry flag is high which indicates borrow is what uh, borrow is equal to one right now we what we are going to perform let's uh, remove this thing i hope you have understand now next instruction is bx minus 2508 and minus borrow because it is sub borrow uh, subtraction with borrow right so what we are doing uh, 250 sorry bx value bx value is what cd 14 and uh, 2508 right we will subtract it okay i'm gonna press minus sign over here just to show so subtraction 4 minus 8 it can't be performed we will take a hexadecimal carry so 16 plus 4 would become what 20 20 minus 8 would be 12 12 is what c i hope it is clear it is a 0 0 minus 0 it will remain 0 there is nothing d is what d is 13 13 minus 5 would be what 8 so result would be 8 c is 12 okay and c minus 2 would be what c minus 2 would be uh 10 so 10 is what a okay a 8 0 c but we have to also subtract the borrow borrow is what one so we will also perform minus one which is for the borrow so c minus one would become what b zero Eight will remain same in a8 register. This should be the result which should come in the BX register after the subtraction. So what we are doing, we are subtracting 2508 from the borrow from the BX, and then we are subtracting borrow, which is one from the result, right? So let's run this instruction. I hope you can see that uh, BX value is what? A at zero B. And since in the last subtraction, there was no borrow taken, so borrow flag is zero. Uh, this is a bit complex instruction that is why i have taken a very detailed example i hope you have understand it still if you have any confusion or query you can take you can post your queries or confusions in comment section i will try to answer them thank you so much for listening